R. Kelly wasted no time going to one of his favorite spots. The embattled singer strode out of jail and headed to a McDonald's. Kelly wore a heavy winter coat, a hoodie, and sunglasses as he chowed down on a burger, fries, and a soft drink. We shake your hands. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yep, he still has his fans. They flock to see the singer who is facing 10 counts of sexual abuse with three minors and one adult. This guy got an autograph. He said he's innocent and uh, that was it. Kelly has quite the history with McDonald's. In the Lifetime documentary series Surviving R. Kelly, two women talked about how the singer used McDonald's as a hunting ground for young girls. The first time I saw R. Kelly, I was probably around 12 maybe 13. We would hang out at the McDonald's. We'd always see him come in by himself, but leave with, with some student. Kelly's McDonald's stop is not going unnoticed by high profile attorney Michael Avenatti, who tweeted, upon being released from jail on bond, R. Kelly promptly went to the same McDonald's that he preyed on underage girls at for years. After the burger, Kelly made another stop at Biggs Mansion Cigar Lounge, where he was reportedly joined by two women whose parents claim are being held against their will by the singer. The women seen with R. Kelly denied they've been held against their will. Meantime, his $100,000 bail was paid by a woman who identifies herself as a friend.